Our show has a global vibe today as we look at the appointment of former Foreign Minister Julie Bishop as Special Envoy to Myanmar, a nation stricken by a military coup, human rights abuses and interference from the Chinese and Russian regimes. Miss Bishop, who was unsuccessful in her domestic coup to snatch the top job from Malcolm Turnbull, was outplayed by Scott Morrison. How will she fare against the Chinese Communist Party, I wonder? Perhaps she could lecture them about the lack of gender diversity. When it comes to the Bureau of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, led by Xi Jinping, all seven are, you guessed it, men. In an attempt to point out the privilege that men enjoy in Australia's parliament, Ms Bishop said, and I quote, "'Could you imagine a woman saying some of the things that Barnaby says? No, you can't.'" End quote. Well, setting aside the existence of Lydia Thorpe, who says plenty of things Barnaby would never dream of, I would like to offer this as a rebuttal to Ms Bishop. Could you imagine a man like Barnaby Joyce donating his shoes to the Museum of Australian Democracy like Ms Bishop did? No, you can't. Parading your high heels as a symbol of female empowerment instead of your record in Parliament is what we call female privilege, and it's embarrassing.